Its huge panelists react to new NH poll showing Haley closing in on Trump. CNN CNN political commentator Karen Finney, CNN political commentator David Urban, CNN political comment. Editor Ashley Allison and Republican strategist Doug High sound off on the latest on the week in Pollitt. ICS with CNN's Jake Tapper. Below are your comments. If Haley beats Trump, it's a win for her. If she loses to Trump, Trump doesn't have enough moderate voters to win the general election. Haley can then tell everyone I told you so and be the front runner in 2028. Either way, this election cycle it's a win-win for Haley. I am Haley's biggest fan. It will be a miracle if she pulls this off. It will also be the miracle America so desperately needs right now. I wish everyone on the right or left will rally behind the best option America has. The worst case scenario is a Biden v Trump rematch of 2020. It would also rock. They can get all excited if they want but it's going to be Trump. Closing in from that far back isn't going to make it. She would have to pick up all the supporters from all the other GOP candidates to have a chance. Trump brags as he is the only one that can beat Biden within the margin of error. However, similar polls show Haley can beat Biden by double digits, well outside of the margin of error. ROR if the other candidates would back her, Haley can do it and maybe save the Republican Party in the 2 024 electi. I'm a Lib Dem, but I'd rather see Haley as the nominee rather than Trump, even though she has a much better chance of beating Biden than does Trump. Trump is downright dangerous, so much so, that I don't even want to risk him winning this thing. I'd rather lose to Haley. Next news. Some Trump fake electors from 2020 haven't faded away. They have roles in how the 2024 race is run. Associated Press. Nearly two years after he signed documents attempting to overturn Donald Trump's 2020 loss in Nevada. Jim Hindle thanked everyone gathered in a historic Nevada Boomtown's commission chambers and asked them to bear with him while he learned how to oversee elections in rural Story County. Hindle was another replacement in what was a revolving door of county election officials across Neva. Da as the 2022 midterms approached. Below are your comments. This should be a five-alarm fire warning. The nuts and bolts of American democracy are much weaker than people realize. In 2020 many local Republicans on the state level refused to accommodate the fake elector certificate. Ion scheme, thus preventing an easy path for Republicans in Congress to vacate th. Most sinister plots are not comic book caricatures, but are attempts to twist the existing legal, po, political and cultural institutions to evil ends. There is nothing contradictory about the fake electors scheme being both a failed legal strategy, a India sinister plot to overturn an election.
This says everything anyone needs to know about the morality, ethics, and integrity of today's Repub. Lacan Party. The only fair election moving forward is what Trump and his MAGA crowd says is fair. In other words, as long as they rig the election in their favor, then it is fair. Everything else is a fraud. Sound familiar? Dot. Literally, Spindel admitted in court exactly what the GOP legislator who appointed him is saying he didn't do. So again, the GOP is both treasonous and blatantly, absurdly dishonest, and or willfully ignorant. Next news. Fox News anchors worry Trump's poisoning the blood anti-immigrant comments will overshadow gay sen. Eight sex tape scandal. The rap. The tape has been avoided by much of mainstream media, but disgraced Congressman George Santos is a, a girly chiming in the post Fox News anchors worry Trump's poisoning the blood anti-immigrant common. T.S. will overshadow gay Senate sex tape scandal appeared first on the rap. Below are your comments. That headline sums up today's Republican Party. It has nothing to do with governance and improving the lives of the American people. Only in winning so it can further cut taxes and regulations on corporations and the rich, the true O. W. N. E. R. S. of the party. It was a criminal act and the government employee was immediately fired. Employers have no way of controlling the people that work for them. Millions of crimes are committed and you can't hold the employers responsible. Is the U.S. government at fault because Trump committed all of his crimes? And This is a greater scandal than breaking into the Capitol? Greater scandal than a coup d'etat? Greater scandal than the attempted overturn of a state-governed election? We have video we can show of both. Why not? Dot. I have two comments. The first is who cares about a pervert filming his sex act, be it heterosexual or bleepsexual, there are plenty in both party to go around. The second is, poisoning the blood? I'm white, 79 years old, with two totally different cancers, bot aggressive. The bladder cancer re. Comparing a sex tape made by a 24-year-old staffer to Trump's toxic comments are not even in the same ballpark. Next news. Trump to install loyalists to reshape U.S. foreign policy. Diplomats gird for doomsday. Reuters. Donald Trump in a second term would likely install loyalists in key positions in the Pentagon, State Department and CIA whose primary allegiance would be to him, allowing him more freedom than in his first presidency to enact isolationist policies and whims, nearly 20 current and former aides and diplomats said. The result would enable Trump to make sweeping changes to the U.S. Stance on issues ranging from the Ukraine war to trade with China, as well as to the Federal Institute. Tions that impel me. Below are your comments. He does not have to go through the process of actually withdrawing the US from NATO. He will be the commander in chief. 
He will just merely not order any his forces to action if Putin invades. Putin knows this. Rest assured, Russia will invade the Baltic states after Trump takes office. Trump's first term was about using tax dollars to save his failing business. A second Trump term will be about destroying the United States. I doubt Trump would pick Tommy Clueless because Trump doesn't want anyone who's smarter than him. America needs to think very hard about the consequences of withdrawing from NATO. The rest of NATO will be just fine. America, however, will be in a world of hurt. We have all experienced four years of a Trump presidency and know that these scare tactics being used D against him by the MSM are completely false. The Republican National Committee just has to be prepared to replace thousands of Biden-appointed Joe B.S. on day one of the new Trump administration. Next news. The walls are closing in, Christie says Trump is becoming crazier. CNN 2024 Presidential Candidate Gov Chris Christie tells CNN's Jake Tapper that Donald Trump's comments are getting worse and worse by the day after Trump echoed Vladimir Putin at a campaign rally in New Hampshire. Below are your comments. Christie is the only Republican other than Trump running for president. All the others are running to get on the Trump ticket. Afraid to upset Trump's base by criticizing him. The problem is that as Trump gets crazier, his supporters go right along with him and become crazier. 2. They now routinely accept behavior, language, and political beliefs that they would have roundly reg. Acted a few years ago. It is scary and unexplainable. It is as though they want to jump O. Oh. Christie actually saying stuff that is true. You can tell from the triggered comments here. The truth hurts Trump supporters, so they pretty much ignore any of it all the time. It would be so refreshing if even one of these so-called caring individuals would just talk about th. e. topics that are important to the people instead of attacking each other. It's a shame Christie really doesn't have a chance because he doesn't take any nonsense, is the only. One that will stand up to Trump, possesses common sense and reason and is a moderate. Something this country hasn't had in decades. Next news. Republican royalty to liberal heroine. Liz Cheney finds an anti-Trump niche. The Guardian. The ex-congresswoman is unapologetically conservative, but her decision to put democracy before part. Why has made her an unlikely heroine? Below are your comments. I disagree with many of the things that Cheney voted for during the Trump administration, but respect. T that she eventually realized Trump was bad for America and bad for the world. I respect that she stood up to him despite the harm it caused to her political career. And she's raking in millions at a lower tax rate because of Trump's mighty tax cuts that mostly bene. Fit the rich.
Without Trump to kick around, she is not nearly as wealthy. Good job? Dot. I didn't grow up pledging an allegiance to Trump, it was to the United States. Trump must be stopped and there is hope and the American people control our fate. Not the courts or politicians. What is required, is a majority of the Democrats need to flip to Republican to vote in the primary. Cheney, Kinzinger 2024 Perusing these comments, it is still apparent that Republicans demand loyalty more than truth. They also fear an intelligent woman more than they do an ignorant, narcissistic autocrat. Next news Hillary Clinton burns Donald Trump's Putin praise with one word. HuffPost The 2016 Democratic candidate had the shortest, bluntest response. Below are your comments. Here's the question of the day. When the former guy keeps repeating his Russia, Russia, Russia mantra, why doesn't he ever tell his Red Hat Brigade members about this report? The nearly 1,000-page report, the fifth and final one from the Republican-led Senate Intelligence Co. M. Mitty on the Russia I. DJT was somewhat restrained, because he didn't know what he was doing, and some of his advisors W.R. E. Honestly working for the American people. By the end of his term, he knew what he could do, what he had to do, and who he needed in his admini. Stration to take control of the government away from. All this history helps put into context some recent developments in the investigations by Mueller and D. The Southern District of New York, which have focused on supposed Trump collusion or conspiracy W.I. Th. The Russians. It may have seemed odd at first that during the presidential campaign the people I. How Russian money helped save Trump's business. Next news. Factbox Trump's foreign policy. Rethink NATO. Troops to Mexico. Boost tariffs. Reuters. Republican former President Donald Trump is planning to fundamentally alter America's relationship W. ITH Europe should he win a second term in office. On the campaign trail, he has also floated sending armed forces into Mexico to battle drug cartels a ND slapping expansive tariffs on friends and foes alike. Trump has said that under his presidency, America would fundamentally rethink NATO's purpose and Nat O's mission. Below are your comments. Trump's trade tariffs increased our trade deficit by 40% and cost a lot of jobs during his last admi. Nistration. He will get all above done right after his new medical plan and infrastructure week. No cattle. If you don't believe what he is saying then are just a sheep. This is why Putin wants Trump in the White House so badly. Next news. Authoritarianism expert spots Trump line showing who he'll target after immigrants. HuffPost. They're not going to stop with immigrants, said Ruth Ben-Ghiat 
who explained the calculated reason behind Trump's poisoning the blood rhetoric. Below are your comments. Repressive measures a ways start with immigrants because they're a group that harbors little sympathy. Dot. There will be challenges to determine if something is constitutional, if it is deeded yes, similar L. OGIC will be used on other groups. For example, Palantir Tech started as a company to track immigrants. When we get rid of the immigrants, food production and harvesting will come to a standstill. The cost of food, all foods, will skyrocket and what is available will be scarce. Meat packing and processing will come to a standstill. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.